the J.J. Methvin Church here in Anadarko, Oklahoma to uh, remember or commemorate the National Day of Remembrance for boarding school survivors, uh, for those who passed on, and to remember those who are still scarred by uh, what boarding schools did to them throughout their lifetimes. There are certain smells and sounds that stimulate my memory and instantly transport me to the government boarding school where I spent my early years. Oklahoma had the largest number of boarding schools in any state in the country, close to 80 uh, around the state of Oklahoma. And it's important for us as indigenous people uh, to remember our ancestors, our mothers and fathers, our grandparents who uh, attended boarding schools. I was only um, five years old when I enrolled at Fort Saline School. I remember when my dad took us to school. It was very traumatic being left there. Even though some of my older sisters were there, I was very lonely. It is a dark stain on our history and it is our duty to bring justice and to bring light into those who cannot speak for themselves as well as be in solidarity with those who are still among us that suffered the in endless and needless trauma from being a part of the U.S. Indian boarding schools. <laughs> Oh, God.